Larry Wilde is chondrosteosis, sometimes called LWD or just Larry Wilde, is a genetic condition that affects the bones. It's characterized by short stature, short forearms and lower legs, and a particular shape to the wrist called Madelung deformity. It gets its name from doctors Larry and Weil, who first described the condition. The dyschondrosteosis part is just a fancy way to say that bone development is affected. This lecture will discuss the features and causes of LWD, in addition to how the disorder is diagnosed and treated. Larry Weil is one of many types of skeletal dysplasia, which means abnormal growth of the bones. It's a mild type, where features usually aren't obvious at birth but become recognizable during childhood. It features mesomelic shortening of the limbs, where the middle portions of the limbs, the forearms and lower legs, are disproportionately short compared to the upper arms and legs. Shortening of the radius, which is the distal portion of the forearm bone, is particularly pronounced. This leads to a relative prominence of the end of the other forearm bone, the ulna, as well as the deviation of the hand, and the radius can be bowed, too. Collectively, this wrist abnormality is known as metalung deformity. Metalung deformity is typically bilateral, meaning it affects both wrists. It can limit range of motion of the wrist and elbow and cause pain. Metalung deformity generally arises during puberty. It may be obvious visually or may require an x-ray to diagnose. The final major feature of LWD is short stature, which is much milder than many other skeletal dysplasias. There are some occasional features too, including a high arched palate, scoliosis, and hypertrophy or overgrowth of the calf muscles. LWD can affect females or males, but affects more females than males by a ratio of 4 to 1. Females also tend to have more severe symptoms. Most cases of LWD are caused by a deletion or mutation of the short stature homeobox or shox gene or one of its enhancers, which is a genetic region distant from the gene itself that promotes gene expression. The shox gene is located in the pseudoautosomal region 1 or PAR1 of the sex chromosomes. This is one of the few small areas on the X and Y chromosomes that have matched genetic material like autosomes, which are non-sex chromosomes. You might see the copy of Shox on the Y chromosome called Shox Y, just to keep it straight from the one on the X chromosome. Since females pass on an X chromosome to both girl and boy children, it makes sense that a mother could transmit a Shox mutation to children of either sex. You might think that a male with a Shox mutation on his X chromosome could only pass that on to his daughters, and a male with a Shox mutation on his Y chromosome could only pass that on to his sons. However, in meiosis that happens during sperm production, the X and Y chromosomes undergo recombination, meaning swapping of genetic material, within the pseudoautosomal regions. Thus, a man with LWD will produce some sperm with a Shox mutation on the X and others with a Shox mutation on the Y, regardless of which chromosome he himself inherited it on. This kind of inheritance is called pseudoautosomal, since it looks like how mutations are inherited on the autosomes. Since a single copy of a Shox mutation is enough to cause LWD, the inheritance pattern of the disease can be called pseudoautosomal dominant. What this means to patients is that affected males or females each have a 50% chance of passing the disease on to a child, whether that child is a girl or a boy. Identifiable Shox mutations only explain about 70% of LWD cases. In the other 30%, the molecular defect remains unknown. It's important to note that not all patients with Shox mutations have LWD. Some just have isolated short stature. LWD can sometimes be difficult to diagnose, as many key symptoms of the disorder don't appear until puberty. Diagnosis is typically based on clinical and radiological examination. X-rays are particularly useful in identifying subtle metalung deformity. DNA testing can confirm the diagnosis in those 70% of cases where LWD is caused by Shox mutations. There are a handful of other conditions that feature metalung deformity. One is distal monosomy XP, where a large part of the short or P arm of the X chromosome is missing. This is the part of the P arm that contains the PAR1 region and the Shox gene. Another is Turner syndrome, where a person has only one sex chromosome, an X. The treatment of LWD depends on the individual symptoms and severity. Monitoring involves assessing children's bone growth and height and obtaining wrist radiographs periodically. In cases where LWD is diagnosed before puberty, growth hormones can be used to add to an individual's adult height. Wrist splints and ergonomic devices can help reduce pain and discomfort caused by metalung deformity. 
In severe cases, surgery may be required to decrease pain and improve range of motion. Finally, genetic counseling is important, especially to rule out the possibility that both a patient and their partner have LWD. If that were the case, any of their children inheriting two shocks mutations would have something called Langer mesomelic dysplasia, a severe skeletal dysplasia. To summarize, Larry Wilde dyschondrosteosis is a genetic disorder caused by shocks gene mutations that leads to short stature, mesomelic shortening of the arms and legs, and matalung deformity.